Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. waited all winter for this. We can't wait either. Some would call that an old It's for through these doors, boys. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> oh. Well, someone can use that as a seat and lay down. <laughs> Heading on the road for the NCHC quarterfinals was a new experience for North Dakota as they hit the road to Denver. Friday night, the Fighting Hawks outshot the Pioneers 32-17, but fell short with a 2-0 loss in Game 1. You know what, they defend well. Um, they swarm me in the D zone. You know, I think tomorrow we got to do a better job of getting pucks from the corner to the front of the net. Or low to high to the front end, great scrambles in front. You know, we're a big, heavy team, and I think we can uh, we can all muscle them out front and uh, generate some more offense that way. It became do or die on Saturday night, and UND once again controlled the play. This time out, shooting Denver 42 to 18. Man to mismatch, now to Jones. Jones a shot, he scores! Nick Jones from the far faceoff circle beats Larson, glove side high for UND, and Jones with his eighth of the year, and we're tied at one apiece. Nick Jones was able to get two past the Pioneers goaltender, but it wasn't enough to hold off DU as UND's season came to a close. Came loose to shot, man alone in front, Jones backhander, he scores! Jones was alone in front, Shaw found him, and Jones from his knees backhands it. Uh, you know, you dominate in every category except the scoreboard, so, you know, it's one of those things, again, uh, you know, proud of the way our guys battled, they battled all year, but we didn't, uh, we didn't get the result we wanted here, and, uh, you know, it's one of those things we're going to go through the summer here and kind of scrutinize everything that we do and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, we get out to the start we want and make sure it's a finish that we want next year. As the team finds themselves on the outside looking in, there comes a time for reflection, not only for the team as a whole, but as individuals. Um, for the most part, I thought this, this season was um, pretty good as, as far as like taking steps. I thought we took a lot of steps this year into becoming the team we were at the end of the year because we were a really good team at, at the end of the year. Obviously, we didn't get the bounces or to where we wanted to go. 
but we we played hard every single game and that's something I mean no one can really take away from us we we put it all out there this this whole entire year and even though you know some games we didn't get the result or um, the you know all the way to where we wanted to go it um, it was a fun year and it was a good and close group of guys and I'm, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way with this group yeah like you said uh season didn't end the way uh, we really wanted there um, but you know just taking from it um, you know I'm gonna use it as a motivation you know work harder and uh, train harder here in the summer to get ready for next year you know so that we can uh, finish up where we want to next year yeah this, uh, this year is kind of a, it's a tough one to swallow for for not only me individually but as a group um, I think we had a really close team this year and I thought we uh, in our locker room, we thought we could go pretty far. And uh, to kind of end up a little bit short of what our goals were, uh, it's kind of devastating. You know, uh, we had games this year that we should have had. Um, that comes down on us. Uh, didn't really have the puck luck overall this year, but yeah, we we came short of a lot of our goals and it's something we're gonna have to look back at and try to not do for next year. Learning from the past is a motivating factor for this group. I think we went through a lot. We were ups and downs and we stuck together the whole time and we were really close along the whole way. So I think, like I said, we had a great, not a great season for us, but I think we learned from it and we can remember the feeling now for next year. Yeah, I think everybody, like especially myself, uh, kind of look at every game and see what happened, what went wrong. and. Uh, it's kind of something you just got to soak in as this as this time goes by it's gonna like right now it's still fresh it's still it still hurts pretty much pretty good and uh, we just got to kind of look back after a little time here and just kind of reevaluate and come back stronger yeah I think there's a lot we can take out of the season and how it ended um, obviously I think we just gotta a lot of people are saying we got to bring it every day next year, not taking any days for granted, especially coming from the seniors saying that it goes by quick. So you want to take advantage of every day you get here and, you know, work hard in the off season and get ready for next year. With preparations for off season already in their heads, the team plans to reset, refocus, and be ready for the forthcoming season. Uh, the team mentality has got to be... Uh, I would say it's a divine focus on what we have to do next year. Um, we can't take it lightly of, well, it's just another crappy year, but we got to really look inside each one of us and what are we going to do individually to make a difference next year. Um, we got these next couple weeks to kind of down-regulate, kind of get our bodies and minds back into it. And after that, we're going to start hitting it hard. Uh, next year starts in a couple weeks for us and from then on it's going to be all the way through the summer until next year. We have a winning culture here and the last two years haven't been great but I think we got to uh, just stick with the culture and work hard, listen to the coaches. Train, training in the off season will be big for us especially as freshmen coming in. It'll be good for them to get adjusted and get to know the guys and you know kind of how everything is run here with Pooley and the coaches so I think just telling them, reminding them the culture we have here, and I mean they'll see it with all the pictures and everything in here. It's amazing, but I think just trying to get back to that winning culture was would be the biggest message to them. You know, we have a really close team, and you know, just being around the guys here, you know, for the next few years here, the next three years, and um, then uh, you know, I'm excited for you know the summer, all the training in the summer, and then obviously just to get back after it already next year, just kind of bring our game to a whole new level and show everyone, you know, that we're back. And, you know, I already kind of started talking about next year and just more of, more of a, you know, the season's done, learned from it, but also a, a kind of a new excitement, if you, if you want to say, for the summer, you know, working hard and, you know, being ready for the summer and because that's the big time when we all try to get better and things you usually can't do during the season.